للدهر شاد على أهله فبين مشد ونبل مصيب ألا كل ما هو آت قريب وللأرض من كل حي نصيب وللناس حب اللقاء فيها والسلام على من لا نبي بعده ما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله is with the great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have enabled us to do these lectures inshallah the lecture today will be on Sayyidina Isa عليه السلام Prophet Isa or in another name known as Jesus عليه السلام we will look into his life, how did he come into this life in dunya and how was his mother first born and then how was he born and then what miracles did he come with, what us Muslims and others believe in him and the beautiful miracles and how he was raised to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how he will come back. Inshallah Ta'ala and general belief on what we believe in him. In Islam, the pillars of believing Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala are six. Arkanul Iman, known as Arkanul Iman, Sitta. And Tu'mina Billah, to believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Wa Malaikatihi, to believe in his angels. Wa Kutubihi, to believe in all the four books. At-Tawrat, Wal Injil. والزبور والفرقان الزبور was the first book to be revealed to نبي الله داود and the second one was التوراة which was revealed to نبي الله موسى عليه السلام the prophet موسى Torah which is known as Torah and الإنجيل which is a Bible it was revealed to prophet عيسى عليه السلام القرآن it is the Quran, which is the last book, which I've gathered all these other four. It has summarized it into one, and it is the last book. There's no other books after it. These are the main four books that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has brought to the prophets, and the Quran has gathered all four together. The Quran, there's no disagreement between the Quran and others. It has just brought everything together. And, وَكُتُبِهِ in his books, وَرُسُلِهِ one of the power of the pillars of believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to believe in his prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent so many prophets. It is said that he sent up to 124,000 prophets with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being the last one. And Prophet Isa was just before Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Now, this beautiful story of Sayyidina Isa, Qutubihi wa Rusulihi, وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ First, to believe on the day of judgment وَبِالْقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى And what is written, what happens in good and bad that comes if an accident was to happen or something goes to happen it has come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have firm belief that there is a day of judgment that to have firm belief these prophets who came they are the, they, the, the messengers of Allah to bring the message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet Isa is no different to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He is no different to Prophet Musa alayhi salam. He is a prophet like any other prophets. That is general belief that Muslims believe. Now, his general story is Prophet Isa, the way he came about, before he was born, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the family of Ala Imran was known. Imran was the, the father of... Uh, Sayyidina Maryam, Mary, Maryam, Imran, he was known as Imran, 
And then the mother of Sayyidatina Maryam, um, the mother of Sayyidatina Maryam, once I saw this beautiful bird feeding, feeding a little baby uh, bird, feeding and she started feeling so much in need of having a child because she was not blessed with a child before and she felt in love of the way this little uh, the, the bird was feeding the other bird she said if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses me with a child a baby boy I will take this child and I'll bless it to, to serve the mosque uh, Masjid al-Aqsa the, the Aqsa mosque in Palestine and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed her with pregnancy of Sayyidatina Maryam uh, the, the mother of uh, Isa alayhi salam Jesus then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed her with that then she's had a child because she's made an intention if Allah blessed me with, with a baby boy I will take her to the masjid um, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed her with a girl and then when she's given birth to, the, to, to a girl she said she said فَلَمَّا وَضَعَتْهَا well, she's given birth to Sayyidatina Maryam alayhi salam قَالَتْ رَبِّ إِنِّي وَضَعَتُهَا أُنثَ Oh Allah I've given birth to a baby girl my intention was to give birth to a baby boy that will take that I will take her, uh, him to serve the masjid the, the, the house of Allah وَاللَّهُ عَالَمْ بِمَا وَضَعَتْ anyway Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who planned everything and, and he knew what she's given birth of and she was saying that a baby boy, it is not the same as a girl. Yet I've given her the name of Maryam. So to understand the, the story of Jesus, inshallah, we go back a little bit on how her mother came about. And then we'll continue, inshallah ta'ala. So Sayyidatina Maryam, the mother of Isa alayhi salam, was born. And then she, the mother of uh, Maryam, has made a very beautiful dua. He said, وَإِنِّي أُعِيذُهَا بِكَ oh Allah, I'm asking you to protect them. وَذُرِّيَّتَهَا yeah? I'm asking you to protect this Maryam and her children yeah? من الشيطان الرجيم Her offsprings, her children من الشيطان الرجيم May Allah protect them from the shaitan. Yeah? She said, قَدْ اسْتُجِيبَ لَهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted this dua that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, no one, when they, everyone when they're given birth to, the shaitan normally touches them and they start screaming and crying. Whenever a child is born, they start crying. It is, it is said that it is the shaitan who's hitting them, that they start crying, except the Prophet wasallam said, إِلَّا مَرْيَمَ بِنْتَ عِمْرَانِ وَبْنَاهَا عِيسَى Except Sayyidatina Maryam and Prophet Isa were not touched by the shaitan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said فَتَقَبَّلَهَا رَبُّهَا بِقَبُولِ الْحَسَنِ Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala has um, accepted and blessed her with a child and then that child, the Sitra Maryam, was blessed and um, was taken to, 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 to the people who were looking after the mosque and that was Sayyidina Zakaria uh, and then Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala out of miracles the miracles that started before Isa it has started from her mother because she's a, she was a blessed woman uh, and she said that Zakaria was the one who was taking care of Sayyidatina Maryam. And then and Zakaria has found a nice particular place of worship near the mosque, inside the mosque, somewhere that to, 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 to bring up this beautiful child, Sayyidatina Maryam. And then out of miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every time Zakaria goes to visit Maryam, he sees very beautiful food that is there. Every time. And then Zakaria said to Sayyidatina Maryam, Qala ya Maryam, anna laki hadha. Where do you find this beautiful food that it cannot be found in the market? There's certain food that cannot be found in the summer. You find them in the winter. There's certain things that cannot be found and you find them. Very beautiful food. Qalat huwa min indillah. She said, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah yarzuqu man yasha'u bi ghayri hisab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses uh, those he wishes with risk be, uh, with no limit. Absolutely Allah can give them as much as he likes. And then once he's grown up and everything, then the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to happen. 
uh, that uh, Isa was going to be born. Then she's grown up, and then once she seen an angel coming to see her, said Qalat al Malaikatu, Ya Maryam. They came. The angel Jibril came, said, Oh Maryam, Inna Allah has tafaki. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has chosen you. Wa taharaki. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has purified you from committing zina and bad things. وَاسْتَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of all the women of this world He has chosen you and have made you the best out of them at the women of your time يَا مَرْيَمُ قُنُطِي لِرَبِّكِ These beautiful verses of the Quran He said يَا مَرْيَمُ قُنُطِي لِرَبِّكِ O Maryam Worship your Lord Allah وَاسْجُدِي بَعُ to Him وَارْكَعِي Go ruku' مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ With people who Pray and do rukun. قالت الملائكة and then the angel said again to the Jibril, يا مريم ها إن الله يبشرك بكلمة منه and then Allah سبحانه وتعالى is giving you glad tidings and Allah سبحانه وتعالى is telling you that you are going to have a child. ها اسمه المسيح عيسى بن مريم that child will be called عيسى بن مريم. look at this. عيسى بن مريم. it came from Allah سبحانه وتعالى that Allah سبحانه وتعالى is going to give you a child. Who's you will be the 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 parent of the single parent of that wajihan fi dunya that child we will be blessed in this dunya with the prophethood and everything. Wal akhirah and on the day of judgment, wa min al muqarrabin they are those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa taala. So this beautiful story, the the creation of Sidna Isa, how we believe and how it has happened, is that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to complete a trend that has started. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Adam, um, the first person to have been created, with no father or mother. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to show us that he does not need things to create people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Hawa with just a man only. A man only. He's taken a bono from Sidna Adam and then has created Hawa. So... From nothing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Adam. And then from a man, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created another, uh, Sidna Hawa. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from Adam and Hawa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created children from two parents. And then the only one was remaining was from a woman only. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used Sayyidatina Maryam in this way to create Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Huh? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created Sidna Isa, the way he was created is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling the Prophet sallallahu to remind us and tell us وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ Tell your people in the book this beautiful story of Sidna Maryam Sayyidatina Maryam and Sidna Isa he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ Tell them Maryam, the story of Maryam Sidna Maryam إِذِنْ تَبَدَتْ when Taba'adat, when she's gone far away, min ahliha makanan shaqiyya, she's gone to the east side of the mosque. Fattakhadat min dunihim hijab, and she has covered herself, it is said, to either do worship or to clean herself. Fa'arsalna ilayha ruhana. Here comes Sayyidina Jibreel in the version of a man. Like a man, he did not come as a big angel or something, he came in a version of a man. A man standing there while she was hiding, covering herself like this. فتمثل لها بشرا سويا. He he came with a with a the as if he is a a a human being, a man standing there. قالت she said to the Maryam, إني أعوذ بالرحمن إني أعوذ بالرحمن منك. ها أسك الله سبحانه وتعالى to protect me from you. إن كنت تقي. If you fear Allah, then do not touch me. Do not touch me. I am not yours. To, to doing these things because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَطَحَّرَكِ Allah has protected you from committing these sins قَالَ إِنَّمَا أَنَا رَسُولُ رَبِّكِ I am the messenger of your Lord لِأَهَبَ لَكِ غُلَامًا زَكِيَّ I came to bless you with with the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a child who is clean from committing sins and that child was Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam قَالَتْ أَنَّا يَكُونُ لِي غُلَامٌ How would I be able to have a child? وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْنِي بَشَرْ No one has touched me. وَلَمْ أَكُوْ بَغِيَّ And I was not, I have not committed any sins. Inshallah we'll continue with the second part. Inshallah ta'ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.